Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I uh. can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. So Omnis doesn't like Dark Hearts. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this. <laughs> Gaunts. Better than most. <laughs> have spoken out of turn. Uh, his family history ouch. is personal to him. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. It's not that I'm not interested. And you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Uh huh. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Uh. What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense. You don't tell me his parents were using. Apparently, his parents and his siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. More for sport. Describe the sound of the victim's cries as horrific. So the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. <laughs> as punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. Interesting. <laughs> How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. Well, maybe some Slytherin are pretty mind. evil. Shop. Which I can actually sell to animals. So in the end, <laughs> I'm not much more than a poacher. Revelio. Nice. What? What is this? These rocks have seen better days. Rebellion. Levioso. What is that? Ancient magic thingy. Revelio. Levioso. Okay, I can't can't mold mold here, so. Confringo. Ancient, ancient magic stuff here. Apparently. Rebellion. This works as well. That wasn't too hard. 
Ancient magic hotspot. Alright. Stylish top hat. Revelio. I was, fine. I, I was going to the date, but I ended up starting to explore the, the ruins or something. Okay. This is fine. Revelio. I like to get these as Windirects, so that's why I'm going to stop when I see them Edgar's potion is just too Rebellion. Too good to pass on, so What's here? Okay, more, po more eggs if these are eggs, I wonder where, where their mother is. Let's collect more stuff. Rebellion. She has be baiting here. Falbron Castle. Psst, over here, quietly. Okay. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. Okay. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. Uh -huh. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Hmm. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. And Ministry of Magic usually doesn't do anything worthwhile, so... You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's their long story. When I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all. Revelio. Okay, why can't I cast spells while I'm crouching? That's a bit silly. Dead end. Must be another way. Huh? Okay. So it it was a puzzle. So why I I can't do something because puzzle. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Repulsor. Repulsor. The 
Defender. The Pulsar. Arrest our momentum. The Pulsar. Okay, that that works. Well done. I will be right up. Yeah, I wasn't wasn't that hard. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Well, apparently she's better that spell than That is the main keep. I am. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. Okay. We'll need to be careful once we get I hear them. Hi Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agree? Suspicious. Go. Really suspicious. Ah, oh, Natty, Natty was faster. Blasted. There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Like Somewhere. those scratch marks over there. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Get to the roof. Arrest Well, that that could actually work. Arrest momentum. Not the safest place to sneak into. Just in the nick of time. Oops. Sorry. I hope that didn't hurt. Revenue. Then again, you hurt the uh, hippogriff, so all is fair, I think. I think that's that was a apparition. Alohomora.
Ravenia. I hope Nazi's having an easier time of it. Ravenia. Get to the roof. You're going home in a wooden box. Nice. Okay. I think <laughs> apparently the pulso is, is a pretty okay in a fight too. Aloha Mora. Deke was right. We need to save you from these barbarians. All right. Oh, that's an if letter. Jupiter knows Kiesel's giant my purple toads. Always very close when handling. Probably poisonous. Hippogriffs. Phoenix bear. <laughs> okay. Rebellion. Rescue Ravenio. Okay, gear slots are full again. So, uh, and I think I got mm, this is fancy. Lots of new stuff, but they might not be might not be better. All green ones can go away. It's a blue one. It's still not better. Okay. Revenue.
I wonder where's, where's Natty. Probably fighting at the roof or something. Okay, now it vanished. Funny. I can get to the roof probably through the stairs, but I wonder what's here. Something nice perhaps. Stash. Check Crimson Overcoat. Looks, looks fancy. And I'm <laughs> just stuck with uh, being with using these school ropes. I wing. It's all right. There we go. Well, okay, there's a two of them. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. It's incredible, isn't it? Pretty, pretty cool. Exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. Good day. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Uh -huh. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> ah. I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. Yeah, I noticed. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, 
Where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Hyrun before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Hyrun's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Yeah, she she got the flying mount as well. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't sound good, or it good. It does sound good. Okay, what's that? Time machine. It's opening up somewhere else. Oh, oh seems the room thinks you need more space for your beast. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank as you. Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now. Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And okay. Perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave, and Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. Nice master. That awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. Okay. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. My apologies. I've not been myself since we last met. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Uh -huh. Ruthless. It's Ranrock I have to thank for losing Bardolf. If only I could somehow rid our hamlet of these monsters. Well. Simply at my wit's end. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. I can't believe he's never coming home. Part of me wants to avenge the loss of my brother, whilst another part of me simply wants to hide. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Revelio. Spinner's Cavern. Doesn't sound too good. I think there's a lot of lots of spiders inside. Um, I wonder if Mandrake works with them. Be fair, spiders. Yes, we know. Thankfully, min thankfully, Ministry of Magic actually puts warning signs all over. Revenue. 
fretting me. His master is awful. Suppressing a lot of text in this game. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Incendium. Revelio. Good for you. Oops. Ah, that was big spider. Ha! Ah. Seems like a place for a boss fight. as if Tobbs was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Incendium. Confringo! Accio! Expelliarmus! Incendium! Protego! Spider crossing. Fireworks. Oh no. Incendium. Yep, all of those are nice. Okay. 
So apparently boss fight is coming because I'm being given... Yep. Topes. Deeper into the game. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Helps helps when you have that uh, ancient it's magic it. field. You can you can make a ultimate Repetting. attacks attacks that 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 way. <laughs> okay, it's just circling circling around. So. Yeah. Can't can't cast spells when in a tight spot. Oh no. Oh no. Ouch. Oh, okay. Ain't oh. Too many. Yep, yep, yep. Totally agree. 
That was a bit hectic. I might have drink too many vegan health potions, but if it works, it works. Hello. Incendio. Hello, oh, no. Dobbs. I have a feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Oh no. <laughs> if you find Tobbs' body, the big spider was too much. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. Hey, Dick. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. Well, it I'm was sorry difficult. To tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my! Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master. When he died, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. Well, that was sad. Then, uh, I don't think I have enough moons. Demiguist moons to get the next level of the unlocking spell. So, oh yes, those camps. I should actually go and deal with them right now. And I don't have this. And then we need to think our our uh, tactics. So what's the go going to be? There's two camps I need to remove. So probably go in stealth first. I suppose, and two levitating spells to the red spells. I think th that's fine. Rebellion. No trolls under the bridge. They are excavating something once again. Oh, I could fall dead asleep on my feet. I could slice a frozen enemy. Okay. Ouch. 
That worked. Rather unwise coming back this way. Akio. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. On camp down, one more to go. Some something there. They're doing something here. I don't know why or what. But they need to be removed, so that's our mission. Sometimes this drawing distance feels a bit too short. Well, that's a machine. Cleared. Alan Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Oh, that was suitably violent. Revelio.
lots of old, old ca ca castles here. Gear slots are full. Okay. Maybe I should do those. Merlin tries like trials again. So everything seems a okay so far so I do miss the bustle of business. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. Oh, I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. I'm especially grateful. You did for Bardolf what I could not. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for No, you. no, bring it into focus on your own. Lots of stars. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the <laughs> Look yeah. only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed astronomy tables, ago okay. on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Okay, so they are astronomy tables. I was wondering what Hello. kind of tables I they are. I believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. 
goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Uh-huh. So we need to solve other people's problems again. Most likely. My stargazing as long as I could. How am I supposed to... This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. <sighs> A pristine night for... Professor Shah. I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going yeah. on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. Okay. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go, then. Lumos! Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cow. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? <laughs> if you're sure. Revelio. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. 
Oh, of course. It's just not as uh, tidy as I expected. Revelio. There it is. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no, not this close to school, I meet. Look, there's a table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Okay, so this is a bit like... Was it Sky? No, it wasn't Skyrim. Some was some right other game. The they really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest. All beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon.